I titled my PhD dissertation, Buckling, Wrinkling, and Crumpling of Simulated Thin Sheets. It might sound dull, niche, or totally random, but I'm going to convince you it applies to your daily life. I'll start by defining each of these terms. Here's a piece of cardstock, and I'm just applying a force with my hands, causing it to bow out once a certain force is achieved. Buckling is a large change in shape that happens in response to an applied force. Next up, we have wrinkling. This is a piece of soft elastic that's usually used in dental surgeries. When I stretch it and apply a bit of a twist, we get an orderly collection of bends, and their wavelength is much smaller than the dimensions of the sheet. Those are wrinkles. Finally, we have crumpling. Of the three, this might be the most familiar to most of us. By crumpling, I'm specifically referring to this disordered network of folds. These mountains and valleys have formed to dissipate energy in a highly compressed system. In this case, I compressed the paper in my hands. But you could also think about the crumple zone of a car, which is designed to crush and crumple to dissipate energy during a collision. These are really interesting phenomena because the geometry of the deformation gives the material brand new properties. I'm using really physics-y words to describe this, but these are properties we use super intuitively. A floppy piece of pizza can be made rigid by forming a buckle in the center of the crust. And if you try to gift wrap a basketball or a bottle of wine, or in this case, a disc of chocolate, you'll find yourself with wrinkles or pleats to store all that extra paper. And crumpling a sheet can make it both stiffer and more shapeable. A flat piece of paper flops over if you hold it by its edge, but a crumpled sheet can support its own weight easily. This is a common trick that bakers use to line baking tins with parchment paper. While the flat sheet pops right back out and refuses to stay in the tray, the crumpled sheet easily takes the shape of the container and maintains that structure. I was really interested in studying buckling, wrinkling, and crumpling so that these properties could be applied to designs of products and new materials. Here's a pen that I was gifted for my birthday. By flipping the switch at the top, the pen compresses slightly, creating this beautiful buckling pattern along the barrel. A sheet of cardstock or even two stacked on top of each other are quite bendy, but most cardboard is corrugated, meaning it has a series of wrinkles sandwiched between flat outer layers. Notice that this cardboard is easy to bend parallel to the corrugation pattern, but incredibly sturdy in the perpendicular direction. By harnessing the unique properties of those wrinkles, we've created a material that is much stiffer and far lighter than a solid chunk of paper with the same stiffness would be. And here's a shirt that was a staple in my early aughts wardrobe, the Magic Bubble Popcorn Shirt. These often come in one size fits all because of how incredibly stretchy and shapeable the material is due to its crumpled texture. The unique effects of geometry produce novel designs, but before we can make full use of these properties, we need to know more about buckling, wrinkling, and crumpling as design components. So I spent my dissertation making computer simulations of thin materials so that we can better understand how to control and apply these deformations. One of the reasons I loved my PhD research is because whenever I felt overwhelmed or unmotivated, I could find new inspiration from the project itself. Here I'm using this shiny ribbon to create all of the deformation modes that I studied using computer simulations. By the way, doesn't my nail polish just perfectly match the ribbon? All sorts of beautiful patterns are created by the simple twist of this ribbon, a reminder that deep unsolved physics is hiding all around us. I hope I've convinced you that buckling, wrinkling, and crumpling are interesting features in physics. And if you have any questions, just let me know.